this clip will explain to you how you should prepare your assignment, your first assignment on management system of your virtual organization or your VO. So this report is really important because it will be the final work of what you have done, including the second assignment which required you to set up your own virtual organization. And then I'll tell you, you have done a very good job. So this assignment, actually it was given as the first assignment, management of your organization will be the final one because the summary of your second assignment will also be included in this assignment, okay? So what I would like to tell you is the format, the outline of your assignment of the system, which after finishing it, it will, will become a volume, you see, of its own. So the outline will comprise the following topics. The first one, of course, when you put into the volume, you have the covers, you have the introduction, you have the content, the table of contents. Now the first one is executive summary. You put the term executive summary at the middle of the page to summarize what is going on in the rest of the volume. Okay. Now the second one will be section one, new page, okay, introduction. In this section, section one, introduction, there will be a few topics for you to incorporate, incorporate in this chapter. First is one point one, rational. Rational means the reason for you to set up this uh, uh, management system, okay? Rational that you said you set up this one, you set up this uh, farm links, a platform, you set up this and that, and you need to have the system to manage it. It will come just like that, okay? And then one point two will be objectives. Okay, objectives. Usually we itemize into one, two, three, four, two, for example, to be the guidelines for administration and man management of your organization. Okay, and then you may put more, number two, number three, number four, or even number five. Okay, this is the first section. 1.3, okay, steps for system development. You tell, you tell them the step. So I recommend you to use Baramawong seven step, okay, which you can uh, go to Google or Baidu about this. But, uh, so the last one is 1.4, benefits of the system. After you have this system, what, what good will it be? What beneficial, it will help you. You write it down. Okay, section two, profile of the organization. Profiles of farming, profiles of uh, what college, whatever you should. So you have to summarize the details of your BO uh, to incorporate into two to five pages only, okay? Not more than that. And then, uh, sorry, section three, details of the system. There will be uh, three topics in this section. First, the title or the name of the system. But don't forget to include its name, VO plan. You replace VO 
with your name, the name of your organization. For example, you may, uh, uh, you may have, such as in Thailand, we have STOU plan. STOU is Sukhoi Thai Thammathirat Open University. So we, we use abbreviation, STOU plan, or JULA plan, which I developed it some 50 years ago. Jura Longkorn University plan for uh, instruction system or something like that. Okay, farming plan. Uh, what are other you have? Okay. Then this is the uh, the first topic 3.1, title of the system. 3.2, components of the system. I recommend you to base the components on CIPOF. CIPOF, you, you, you have already known it from my early clips. C is context, I is input, P is process, O output or outcomes, F feedback. So you have to explain the context, uh, the, the components based on 3.2.1 context, 3.2.2 input, 3.2.3 uh, process. Now, when you talk about process, you talk about the step one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that you need to be to be done in order, in logical steps. Okay, 3.2.3 for outputs or outcomes, it's the same thing, okay? Don't separate it. 3.2.5 feedback. Feedback is the controlling, controlling mechanism of the system. So, in impact is one of the feedback, okay? Now people uh, like it. Satisfaction is also the feedback, okay? Now, in section three, details of the system, you have the title of the system, you have components based on SAFOF model, you have the last one is system modeling, system model. You have to write it for chart, okay, to show step by step. There are three ways of doing it. Vertical, vertical like waterfall, or vertical like the trees, okay? Or horizontal, input in horizon. One, two, three, four, five. Or circular model. So when you write the flow chart of your system model, it might be vertical, horizontal, or circular. Now, section four, system implementation. This is very important. You have to write it down that when you want to when you want to implement your system, what you need is first administrative commitment. So four five one will be administrative commitment. You have to explain as to what the administration or management should do. For example, they set in the policy to do this. They set the regulations or uh, announcement that they will implement this VO system. Okay. You put it to itemize it one, two, three, four. Four by two will be needed infrastructure and facilities. You have to put down. Do you have a, a separate building or you may make use of existing building? Uh, what kind of <coughs> uh, electronic supply, power, water supply, telephone, so on and so forth. You have to explain it. Network. What kind of equipment you need? Computers, servers, and other facilities. Of course, office machines, office facilities need to be listed here. Okay, 4.3 will be conditions of, uh, for success, implementation. 
conditions for success implementation, you put it 1245 as to what you need to have or to do in order to be successful, in order to have successful implementation of your system. Now the last one is the annex or appendix. Usually, uh, when you, you make use of this at your dissertation or your research, you need to put your system into uh, evaluation, assessment, verified by experts, according to the seven steps. Okay. And then you need to have the, the manual, the manual for implementation of the system. Any other materials at all, other materials you ha have to put in at the end of this uh, chapter 5, if it's your dissertation, it will be on chapter 5. So in this case, you put in the append appendix or annex, if you need to have it. Okay. So, I think you will make it because you have done the, the VO assignment very successfully, so I'm sure this one will be the guideline for you when you decided to um, conduct your dissertation or your research in the so-called research and development format or R&D format. This is needed, so do it good. It will be the guideline for you for your dissertation next year. Okay, good luck. Thank you so much.